let us look to the Lord in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to your presence yet again today. Bless the time that we spend in your presence. In the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. We will now have an opening hymn. I come before you today And there's just one thing that I want to say Thank you Lord Thank you Lord For all you've given to me For all the blessings that I cannot see Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with an outstretched arm, I will bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. took my darkness and gave me your light. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You took my sin and my shame. You took my sickness and healed all my pain. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, with a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with an outstretched arm, I will bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable unto thee, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. Friends, today we discuss about Christ's invitation to be participants in the expressions of mission. From the epistle lesson that we heard read today, I would want to draw a few insights on the mission with the resurrected Christ to which he invites us to participate. Firstly, mission is all about what Christ does in a person or in a community where a no people become a people of God. A people who had no mercy become a people who had mercy, the mercy of God. The Christ event, the cross experience, the essence of salvation is where people who were alienated from God, far away from divine purposes, straying as a no people, those people experiencing the salvific intervention of Christ and becoming a people of God, a people with no mercy, receiving the tremendous mercy of God. Across the years, wherever people's theology has developed, this has become the crux of it. The downtrodden people, the broken people, and no people, seeing the light of God, liberated, transformed, 
becoming a new people, becoming God's people. Dalit theology, in Benjamin theology, in feminist theology, in womanist theology, in every shade of liberation theology, we have seen this experience where the light of Christ dawns upon a no people, transforming, changing those no people into people of God, people of mercy. That is an expression of mission. Secondly, Peter writes about mission as a new identity. Quite often we have heard this text, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people. Among all the ethnicities of the world, the Christ ethnicity is a new identity where everybody, irrespective of what your backgrounds are, irrespective of who you are, become the chosen ones in Christ. You are the chosen. In a context where royalty was the prerogative of the few, here is an invitation to royalty for everyone, an egalitarian invitation, a royal priesthood. Now there, these were two concepts that people thought were unique to only a privileged few, royalty and priesthood. The genuine Christ experience, the transformative mission experience, the true expression of mission is where everyone is invited to the royalty of divinity, royalty of the kingdom of God. Everyone is invited to be the priesthood of all believers, the priesthood of all, a very transformative mission invitation. We are also called to be a holy nation when there is quite a lot of unholiness around us, unholiness in various manifestations affecting every walk of life. It is important for us to see what actually it is to be a holy nation. That is the expression of mission and a no people as we already heard becomes God's own people owned by God loved by God chosen by God attributed divinity royalty and priesthood by God and given holiness by God that is the expression of mission where you invite everyone to this new identity in Christ Thirdly, mission is proclamation, proclaiming the mighty deeds of the one who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Friends, what is mission? What is the expressions of mission? It is proclaiming Christ. In one simple message, in one simple sentence, mission is all about proclaiming Christ. Proclaiming Christ not only through words, but by the way you live your Christ experience outside. By the way others see the Christ filling you, living in you. The Christ who called you out of darkness, called you into his marvelous light. Mission is proclamation. We are all called to this great proclamation of the divine. Peter goes on to say that mission is in simple terms a call. Come to Jesus. That's all mission is. That's the best expression of mission. An invitation to come to Jesus. He, though was the living stone, was rejected, but yet Rejected as he was, God chose him as precious as the cornerstone. And the call there is, let yourself to be built to be the spiritual house. Mission 
is coming to Jesus, understanding the light that is available in Jesus, liberating ourselves from the darkness, and then being the living stone. One important stone, important part of the edifice of the spiritual house that is being built together with all. Come to Jesus. Friends, in a world where several people are in the pain of loneliness, come to Jesus, the companion. Where every pe several people are troubled by worry, pain, agony, anxiety, not knowing what the way is, struggling with death, having no hope, come to Jesus, the author and finisher of life, the way, the truth, the life, the resurrection. Mission, expression of mission is an invitation, come and see the risen Lord. Come and comprehend what the risen Lord has achieved through overcoming death, through his death on the cross. What redemption, salvation, justification, righteousness is, is in Christ. Come to Jesus. Mission, Peter says, is a longing. <coughs> a longing for the pure, unadulterated milk, helping you to grow into salvation. Salvation here is once for all reality that Christ has achieved and you appropriate. But here again, Peter makes it clear, salvation is a process, growing unto salvation. The Lord being your guide, the Lord being your companion. He says, mission is tasting yourself that the Lord is good. And once you have tasted it, longing more and more for pure, unadulterated milk of spiritual nourishment of the word, so that you grow into the full stature of Christ, the fullness of salvation. Mission is invitation to salvation, invitation to growth unto salvation. The expression of mission is instilling this longing in people to desire for the spiritual nourishment, pure unadulterated milk, milk of the word. And finally, mission is all about character, Christly character, godly character. That's how Peter begins this particular passage. He says, rid yourself of all nature that is unbecoming of Christian living, all malice, all guile, all envy, insanity, slander. Prison Christ invites us to this expression of mission which is ridding yourself of every quality in you that is unbecoming of the Christ that dwells in you. Here he uses just five words, malice, guile, insanity, envy, and slander. But this encompasses all that is unbecoming in us. The resurrection experience is an invitation Come to Jesus. Friends, today, when we look about this invitation to expressions of mission, our reflection was simple. Mission is an invitation for a no people to be transformed into the people of God. Mission is an invitation 
into expressions of new identity in Christ. Mission is an invitation to proclaim that Jesus Christ is the mighty one, his mighty deeds that drew us out of darkness into marvelous light. Mission is a call, come to Jesus. Mission is a longing, pure, unadulterated milk for those who have tasted that the Lord is good. And mission is cleansing ourselves, ridding ourselves of everything that unchrist like in us. Let's pray that this invitation to expressions of mission would be our life experience and our encouragement to others to follow the path of Christ. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for the word, the richness of the word, and we pray that you bless us. In the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. We will now have a closing hymn. In his time, in his time, he makes all things beautiful. In his time, Lord, please show me every day as your teaching that you do just what you say in your time. Lord, please show me every day as you're teaching me your way that you do just what you say in your time. In your time. In your time. You make all things beautiful in your time. Lord, my life to you I bring. May each song I have to sing be to you a lovely thing in your time. Lord, my life to you I bring. May each song I have to sing be to you a lovely thing in your time. Shall we join in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.